Hello, AD. It's me, Rita. Welcome to my home. Thank you for coming all the way to England, London. Come on in. I have to tell you the history of this house. One of the main reasons why I bought this house was because of the history. So it was built in the 1800s, originally owned by an illustrator called Arthur Rackham, one of my favorite artists. He did all the illustration for Alice in Wonderland, Red Riding Hood. The house has a lot of energy, good energy, all the creative sort of juices that I need and that I kind of felt as soon as I walked in here. All this original sort of like glass work that you can see up here was here way before I got here. And it's a sign because that clock in the middle, my name in my language also means time. So that was like a little personal connection I had as soon as I walked in, I was like, ah, it's meant to be. This is an old traditional kind of school kind of thing where you sit and you take your shoes off and you hang your coat up here. I've taken them all off because I knew you guys were coming and I wanted it to look neat. Come on, let's show you the kitchen. These doors have been here since the beginning of time. If you can see, they're kind of small. I was told it's a very, very traditional thing. So I've tried to keep everything as natural and organic as I could. We had to redo the kitchen because it was really old. This is one of my favorite places in the house because I love cooking. I love kind of hanging out with my friends. I absolutely love these arches here. I really think it gives it a lot of character in my opinion. And I love dimension. I love like things feeling cozy. And in London, it's all about being cozy. So I wanted to keep it simple. I wanted this house to really just speak for itself in the sense of its architecture and the history of the house. So I didn't want to kind of bombard it with all these kind of decorations. Let me take you by this fireplace. Literally has been here since the 1800s or something. It just really reminds me of the countryside. Cozy, pink, glamorous, girly, but it's also incredibly romantic. And that's what I loved about this house as well. It's extremely romantic, but I like to contrast it because this house has so much history, but I wanted to bring my rock and roll self in there. And then some uh, Damien Hirst work that he personally drew on for me. We love you, Damien. I wanted to just keep that there because again, I think it's really cool to mix the modern with the old school. So this for me that I'm about to show you is the soul, I think, of the house. Here is the frame and the divider that divides this kitchen and my sitting room. It's been here since the house was made, hasn't been touched. It reminds me of like the old sort of like church kind of rusty, but just so full of soul and heart. Arthur himself is pictured with these frames. I need to do the same picture as him so I can like put it side by side and then maybe in like however many million years or whenever they're gonna look at me and be like oh look at this glamorous person that used to live in the house this is my living room this is usually my spot actually and i kind of sit and i put my feet up and i watch tv Takeaways usually sit in there. My friends and family kind of hang out there. There's a bar over there. And then when it gets cold, we all sit by the fireplace. So here is kind of the traditional radiators. I love them just because of the simple fact that they're so old school and they're like really gritty. And these really nice windows. Big windows in London, always a plus. It's such a nice room because when you sit here and you look at this garden, you just see green and then you're sort of like, how is this in London? Like, by the way, we're in London, like in the city. I shared a room with my sister my whole life to be able to show you this and say that I can look outside and see green and have a huge garden. It's insane. Let me show you outside. Come on. Welcome to what I like to call my little piece of heaven. What I love the most about this garden is that it's full of flowers. I love flowers. My garden is amazing. He and I have sat here for hours deciding what we want, how we want it. I'm just so proud of us. Look how far we've come. This is the traditional color of the flooring. We just kind of kept it the same. It's a little scruffy because it's London. We live in a city, so this is the truth. But I want to show you something really cute. 
Look at these little footmarks. Back in the day when they first laid this down, a little naughty fox came and stood on the cement and left it like that. Bit of character for you. There's another fireplace there. This is a big traditional sundial. And we actually have the original sundial at the back of the garden. This is where I sort of sit, have a tea. And then I sort of look at this big tree that I have, the weeping willow. Let me take you through the pond. I got these from Portobello Market, which is where I grew up in West London. Shout out West London. Here we have a beautiful passageway. Welcome to my green piece of secret heaven. Here is where we really just hang out. We put a carpet down here or a little blanket or something and I just have the best time sitting here and just smelling the flowers. That's basically what we do. But this isn't the end. This is the middle of the garden. Come on. So this is the sundial that was here and I wanted to just make a moment of it because I, I like to honor the history of this house. And so we just painted it gold because gold is my favorite. If you follow me down this walkway, this is where the butterflies stay. Oh, I like natural fires. I didn't want to put too much like electrical stuff in this part because I really felt like the whole point of this sunken bit of garden is to be a garden. Instead, I thought, let's make this a nice little fire chill out spot where we can make some smalls or cook some stuff. And we put cushions here sometimes. And that's a cute little bench. If anyone needs to have a first kiss or anything, you know, just give me a call and I'll set it up for you. It's very romantic. We have outdoor mirror to also check yourself out and say to yourself, I'm great today. Thank you to the village that put me together. Let's go. Here we are. This is like where I sleep and that's all I do. This used to be Arthur's art studio. I thought it was really cool to turn it into a bedroom. I really loved the high ceilings. That was why I wanted this to be a bedroom. The windows are really big and haven't been touched. It's so old school and I love the fact that I have a whole bathroom in the bedroom. Look at this. This is the, the bathroom in the same room. I have a bath and a fireplace and I like to kind of run baths and have the fire on and I kind of sometimes put my iPad here and I watch like Stranger Things or whatever's popping on the socials nowadays, you know what I'm saying? I'm just all over it. And the sink has this really kind of simple marble and these are all very traditional. These have been here for a very long time. My mum got me this rug, which is very cute. Oh, the windows, look at these glass stained, incredible windows. This has been there since the beginning. That used to be like an old chute where you'd put God knows what, but I'm, I'm gonna go with laundry. I actually have two fireplaces in my bedroom. I have this amazing guy and these beautiful little butterflies, which I just thought were so cute. By the bathroom, there's another fireplace. So when it gets really cold in London, which it does, you just have both of these bad boys. Boom, boom. And you're just kind of like getting double whammy warmness. And I love indoor plants. I don't know if you've been spotting them on this tour so far. Because my life is pretty hectic, I like to come home to nature, peace, things that don't like ah, do that to me. It's beautiful because I have one of my favorite parts of the house in my bedroom. And I want to show you why. Here is my private balcony that I come out on and I look at London. I sit and I sometimes have my tea here or a bit of breakfast, do some emails. And all of this is all kind of naturally just grown. I haven't touched it. I just wanted it to sort of grow. And I look at my garden and I just think, wow, I'm very lucky to have a garden and a view like this in my bedroom. The stairway to my clothes. Look how small this door is. Again, old school. Yeah, so this is where my day-to-day -day life happens and I just sort of get dressed. I love kicks, sneakers. I have lots of sneakers. This is literally half of my stuff because I have so much stuff, it's all in storage. So I've only decided to do like my day-to-day -day stuff. When I get up, I like, you know, want to put something on to go to work. But it's pretty cute. This is where I keep all my 
Vintage tees, Sex Pistols. Oh, oh, I forgot to show you. We love George. All right, George. But if you come through here, you have a whole another bathroom. So I kind of get ready here. I just run upstairs quickly, find us something to wear, go back down to my bedroom. And this sink, they wanted to throw this away and we just reused it because it's a double sink and it's just the coolest thing ever. And we put in a shower and we just made this into a really kind of nice, girly, getting ready space. This is my Rita time, I guess. And I put face masks. Sometimes I lie here and I scroll on TikTok, get out of the shower and I just think, oh, let's just have a little look. And then it's three hours later. Can you believe that? Let's not tell anyone that. This is where I do all my hair and makeup and I kind of sit here and I let people fix me. And then after 28 hours, this is how I look. What do you think? This is my most proudest possession. It's Lego Spice Girls. And then here is a present I had. It's just kind of some of my magazine covers. It's nice to see some of these accomplishments, I guess, once in a while, you know what I mean? This is my little cave, my man cave, but woman cave, it's my cave. This is the only real fireplace I have in my house with real wood, obviously this incredible arch. And look at these incredible tiles on the floor. I mean, it's so beautiful because they're just little trees and beautiful pictures of sheep sleeping. And then I just sit here sometimes, I watch TV. I have to show you though, this is also where I keep some of my favorite books some awards. The majority of my awards are at my mum's house because she likes to hold on to them. So my favorite records are down there. That's from my album Phoenix. I did an album launch and I just brought it over. A couple guitars, Hunter S. Thompson. And here we've got Elton, don't know why he's hidden back there. Sorry, I love you. Elvis. I mean, there's always a bit of music in my house. And if anyone ever wants to pick up the guitar and start singing, you're more than welcome. Thank you for coming to visit me. Uh, it's still crazy that I have a house like this and trust me, I'm very grateful. I'll see you guys really soon. I love you. Bye. <laughs>